Hi, my name is Dr. Lori Cayley. I am a functional medicine practitioner and I help women who have thyroid conditions to reverse their thyroid condition naturally so that they can experience optimal health and live a happy, vibrant life. Today, I wanna to talk to you about a question that I've been getting quite frequently the last couple of weeks. And the question is, do people who have thyroid conditions or does it make people who have thyroid conditions more susceptible to getting the coronavirus? As we know, approximately 90% of people who have hypothyroidism have an autoimmune condition called Hashimoto's. And there is also another thyroid anti-immune condition called Graves disease. And people who have autoimmune conditions tend to have lower secretory IgA. So what is secretory IgA? Secretory IgA is the first line of defense in mucosal membranes. It is an antibody, an immunoglobulin that your body produces. And it is in your nose, in your mouth, in your throat, in your ears, eyes, and in your gut and in your respiratory system, just to name a few. So if you don't have enough secretory IgA, your secretory IgA is low then your defense mechanisms are not going to be at the level where they should be. So what do we do to increase secretory IgA? Well, if you are not sleeping properly, not getting enough rest, if you're stressed, then your adrenal glands are going to be taxed and you want to get your adrenal glands back in balance. So make sure that you are resting enough, getting good sleep, and make sure that your stress levels are decreased. Obviously during this time, it's hard to do that, but there are things that you can do, steps that you can take every day to reduce your stress levels. So I'm going to give you some examples. Exercise is great and you, can do things like aerobic exercise. You can do yoga. Many sources online are offering free classes right now. So just search that, take advantage of that. I know that my gym has a lot of online workouts that they are offering for free now. So definitely look into that. And Meditation is another great way to lower stress. I do it every day and I recommend it to everyone. I start my day with meditation and it definitely helps to reduce stress levels. Also doing breathing techniques will help to reduce stress levels. And the second thing that you can do is eat an anti-inflammatory diet. So you can look up online anti-inflammatory diets. There are things that you can eat and things that you can on the diet, obviously. And you, the whole point is to bring down inflammation. When you bring down inflammation, it will help to increase secretory IgA production. And my last suggestion is supplementation. So you can supplement with colostrum. That's great to in increase secretory IgA levels, bone broth, Probiotics, S. bulari, glutathione, and vitamins A, D, and K will all increase secretory IgA levels. So everyone stay safe, stay at home as much as you possibly can. There are ways that you can avoid having to go out. There are delivery services for groceries. There's Instant Cart. I've used that. You can order meals to be delivered to your house. I really like Sun Basket. That's what I use, but there's many other ones out there. They bring all the ingredients to you and you can just make it at home and just stay safe. So thank you for watching and I will talk to you soon.